Hello everyone. We are in the KT office today and today we will tell you about Akinio. Anton Bilov and Andrei Putin. Now, we will tell you about the most frequently asked questions and why Arcaneo is believed to be the best solution out of all PIM systems in the market. And also, the difference between the community and the enterprise versions. We won't bore you with marketing bullshit, because we don't really care about it. We just know the product very well, we have developed a lot on it and did quite a bit for its community version. We also know a little bit about the enterprise and understand what it is and why it is needed. Shall we? Tell us the basics. Akinio is a PIM system. Well, it's PIM in the first instance and PXM in the second. This topic was discussed in the last review. Akineo is quite attractive in terms of the interface. It has a light-colored outlook and it means a lot. Yeah, the users love it. The users often say that Akineo has a useful interface, although some of our users who did a lot with Akineo are not quite satisfied with the interface. But that's more of a taste issue. What's also important if you compare it with other products, which are quite plentiful today, the cloud Brenquad, Pimcore, Solsify and product SAP. You need to understand that the simplicity of settings and light, smooth design creates a perception of convenience. It is rich with features related to product attributes, families of attributes, inheritance capabilities. I would even say that the functions are quite diverse. There is always room for improvement, of course, and it can be enhanced even further. But out of the box, the core solution, the community edition, has sufficient number of functions. Let me be the bad cop, then. I'm going to say what I don't like in Akinio, all the bad things. For instance, it does not support calculated attributes. Also, when it comes to rich attributes, meaning attributes with attributes, there are only available in the enterprise version. In 2020, it's like, come on, 50k euro for a calculated attribute. Yes. But sometimes you might need attributes with attributes. Like when, for example. Akineo itself gives the following example. Imagine the textile with a label on possible washing options, like ironing or do not tumble dry, etc. All those attributes, ironing, drying, etc., need to have their own pictograms. This is what an attribute property means. Or another example. Imagine you have a color pink and it has one hex code for it, one smile code for it, a description for a website and what not. Meaning differences in the attribute that you can assign to a product. When you assign the attribute pink, we don't need to duplicate hex code or smike code, it's all embedded in the attribute. Akinio offers it only in their enterprise version. By the way, an important thing, let's mention it. Akineo Enterprise and Akineo Community out of the box are similar things. They share the same core. Everything you have in the Enterprise solution is also available in the Community one. But you might be missing some things, such as versioning. We will come to it later. There is one core, and the only thing that is different in the enterprise from the community is the set of modules. All right, let's shuffle all the pros and cons, one by one. What are the other advantages of Akinio? Quite good performance. Oh, yes. We have examples of the project of ours, where we had 2 million products in the active catalog and 200 million in the passive one. 
these are such products that somehow get into the database, but nobody works with them. And it still runs. What's also important to note is that Akineo is based on Elastic. And inside it, there is Elasticsearch and it's a no SQL storage. It's actually a cool indexer that runs really fast, works well and delivers when it comes to indexing and operating attributes. But notwithstanding the fact that all master data is stored in a MySQL, it's not a hindrance. Now time for cons. We compare community and enterprise. So let's carry on explaining the versioning. Because in a PIM system, even the community must have versioning. Versioning is available in both community and enterprise, but community is just a log of what and when was changed, while the enterprise offers some rigging with it. To go back to the previous setups as well as the validation workflow, which helps you do checks. Someone can send items for publications. The other role, another user, will check what's been changed and can either approve or disapprove the changes. He can also approve acceptance of one type of attributes and decline the others. This is what validation workflow is. And it is closely connected to versioning. In Akineo, this is a powerful feature, but community offers a very light versioning. So, there, you need to improve a lot if you want to get a non-standard functionality. For example, if you want to ensure a complex property inheritance. Yes, the inheritance capability is missing. The inheritance model it uses is not as cool as the MDM systems one like PIMCore, but usually it's quite okay. There are attributes that can be grouped together. Also, there can be groups of products that can be used as a teamwork assistant and any other mechanisms that track the quality of filled-in data. But once again, it is the enterprise version only. Any deviations, any outstanding processes will have to go through additional improvements. Yes. I think we need to discuss it separately. Akineo is not very well suited for very complex business processes related to product processing. Say, validation workflow, teamwork assistance out of the box is very, very basic. It's even unclear why Akineo charges you for this and does not include it into the community version because Enterprise has other good features to offer. You know what I should also mention? Since we talk about business processes, let's say something about API. We know how it is done in some PIM systems like SAP or PIMCore. You need to understand that Akineo also offers APIs, but they are not as flexible as in PIMCore. In PIMCore, you can set up own API methods and construct quickly a new API should you need it. In Akineo, API is classic, it's just there. I'll put it this way. Yes, a non-configurable API. Although, it can all be improved. Since we have PHP Symphony 4 here, it's all very easy. Mass actions are very well thought of in the interface, pretty neat. Yes, and filtering. Both filtering and dashboards are pretty simple. So simple that even the operators use them all right. 
What does that mean? It means that if an operator needs to save something, if an operator usually works with black dresses, he can save it, the black dresses filter, and work with them later. 1S users will not be surprised by this feature, because they offer it out of the box for 15 years already. And Akineo also offers this capability. It can be set up and with minor fixes it can be distributed to all operators' groups. So it's pretty cool, isn't it? We also need to talk about the rights. Because recently one of our clients have told us that Akineo told them that there are no roles in the community version, while there are. It offers very basic roles, very basic. Yes, Akineo community differs from Akineo Enterprise not by roles, but by the way to set them up. The roles are there, and actually they're quite flexible. To go beyond lip service, you can jump to the demo section on akineo.com and see for yourself how it works. They host a community version there. The roles for the majority of cases? We can basically agree that the majority of cases can run on standard offered roles for the users and there's enough user groups in both community and enterprise. One can do pretty complex stuff in the enterprise version, limit a catalog based on filters, but everything else works well in the community solution as well. All right. What can also be mentioned as an advantage? It's the tailoring capability for the specific customer. You can tune up the product descriptions for customers. It has such terms as the sales channel and the locale. It's a double depth of how can you set up your description. Meaning, you can have a sales channel, and there you might have several locales. Well, we need to tell the viewers what a channel is. A channel is a situation in which your e-commerce is just one channel, and a printed catalog is another channel. So by a channel, we mean different places or platforms where you upload your products. You don't just blindly upload all the existing products, but also assign certain specifics to the products in the channel, like the attributes. What for? Imagine we have two channels, an ERP system and an e-commerce platform, a website. So in Akineo we can agree that we do not upload products to the website unless they have three pictures. For the ERP though, it's okay if you don't have all three, or any at all, we will still upload product data there, and it will work this way. In different channels you may have different attributes, and if the ERP system requires just one picture, then, in terms of picture availability, the system will think the attribute is filled in and it has its own fullness attribute. The website will have the product marked as red, because it will be missing basic necessary attributes for the channel. Yes, it can also be set up that you will have an English description of the product, the Russian one and the German if you want. Sure. And of course you might have a basic language, and we may translate not all the attributes, but just some. So it's very flexible. Let's take the audience through Franklin and Onboda, because their description is poor even on the Akineo own website. Franklin is a logical continuation of the previous advantage we talked about, about locales and channels. It's an engine that completes product descriptions simply taking them from open sources. Did I spell it right? Franklin? Yes. With a C, not a K. What does it do? 
It significantly reduces workload for your content department. Previously, you had to fill in the description of the product and your editor had to check whether there are any typos or anything. The moderator had to make sure that the description includes what it really needs. And then the marketer could have had other ideas to include in it. Now, this step becomes so much easier. You get a description draft from open sources, then you edit it the way you want, adjusting it to your channel, but you will not start from scratch. If you have a big catalog base and it doesn't matter what's going to be written there, the most important is to have at least something, you can directly push these descriptions descriptions from Franklin to the channel. Yes, and thanks to Onboarder, which is a cloud-based module, Akinio allows your suppliers to enter the system, upload descriptions to it and then get them in your own database via integration capabilities. For instance, if a supplier or a vendor fills in all the descriptions for you, then it is technically possible. The descriptions will come to you for validation, but again, this capability is only available in the enterprise solution. You know, one of my customers has asked about projects and tasks in Acneo. Here, we should talk about Teamwork Assistant in the Ekineo Enterprise. It offers an opportunity to bring some products together in groups. It doesn't look too complex, and it is not in reality, but the customers get a great value from it. Say, you have your fall winter season starting, and you have some SKUs for the season not described yet, say for your overcoat, but it must have descriptions for all marketing channels because this season starts and the product needs to be sold. So you can basically create a group of products, filter them down and trace the description fullness for this group specifically. So from single system you can trace the fullness of the product descriptions, the quality and quantity of data for the attributes. And this functionality is available in the enterprise version. Let's conclude. Akineo Community and Akineo Enterprise are actually the same systems with different modules. The biggest difference is the workflow. And we haven't told anything about DAM, because just the enterprise can boast a digital asset manager, whereas the community cannot. And that's important. Well, it's more of a flaw. Sorry, we forgot, it is a flaw. Actually, it's quite strange that in a modern PIM system you do not have a DIM. But this is the case with Akineo community. It doesn't mean necessarily that you can't upload pictures to a product because there's such an attribute as picture. It's a file attribute, right? But it's a file inside a product. If you need a neat situation with folders and a better structure and order, and you want one file to be attributed to several products, then you need a digital asset manager. What's important here? What do we need it for in reality? We need it only when your marketing works with the PIM system. Because if you don't have marketing and you don't have a PXM, a product experience manager, and such a workflow doesn't work, you don't really need pictures. For instance, imagine you have a picture for the product, but you need another one for your Instagram account. Or you need a separate set of attributes, like special pictures for wildberries or anything else, meaning for a different marketing source, right? Or you might need separate descriptions for the marketing channels. In this case, you won't be able to do proper work without a dam. In other cases, you will have plenty of attributes. All right, can you take the pluses where these things are available in the enterprise version? Look, yes, take the red marker pen, because in reality they charge for it, right? So you can mark it as 
Okay, versioning, for example, is partially available. APIs are available in both cases, although it can be configured more flexibly in the enterprise. Yep, the rights and roles are more flexibly configured. Filters, actions, dashboards, plus and minus here. Community offers a sort of dashboard, but the enterprise version houses a better one, where the quality of data will be displayed and how full are the attributes. You know, Akineo checks for mistakes. For some languages, Akineo may check for mistakes because it has two properties. First, it shows the fullness of an attribute and the quality of the data in the attribute. One can even say that PXM doesn't work in the community version, because we don't have DAM there, and that's important. PXM is more about product positioning, and it is hard without a DAM. Franklin and Onboarder are only available in the Enterprise version. Teamwork assistance as well. Rules manager and workflow? Yeah, you forgot to add that. It's again in the Enterprise, yes, yes, yes. And the rules manager. I hope I answered all the questions. I think we haven't left anything out. Can you wrap it up? So, Akineo is a good system with lots of advantages and only a few hiccups. But the majority of such advantages are only found in the enterprise version. But even for a basic PIM system, the community suffices and it can flexibly develop. Sometimes it's cheaper to write new code for community, adding the modules you might lack. Yeah, it's a regular request, to go out of the box. Luckily, you're allowed to do it, since Akineo is an open-source modularized system which is very transparent and architecturally beautiful. By the way, Akineo was recognized as the best BIM system of 2019, according to IDC. Well done, Akineo! Yes, so Akineo is one of the most well-known systems alongside BIMCore. Also, there are similar functionalities available in SAP and Solsify, which are very well known in certain markets. But in general, Akineo and PIMCore in Europe are top of mind. And in Russia, Brankwad is also popular. But Brankwad is cloud-based. And I think we will end there. Thank you for listening. I hope we dealt with it quite thoroughly. Next up is BIM Corp. Should you have comments, do not hesitate to write, because many people say that there are not enough Russian-language tutorials. We are ready to support you and answer all your questions. Thank you. Bye-bye.